Hi everybody, it's Claire from Girlfriend Library here and today we're going to go old school, we're going to go back to the classics and speak all things Jane Austen. These are some of the South Ayrshire Library Jane Austen books that you can borrow and there are some in the Libby app as well, so there's loads to choose from. Now sometimes when you say classics, people automatically kind of switch off and think, not for me, fusty old, irrelevant, boring books. Jane Austen's not like that. Jane Austen books are funny. They deal with romance. They are ironic. Um, the dialogue is fabulous. They're character driven. There's lots of reasons to read Jane Austen. Now, the main theme, as you will probably know, even if you've never read them, is love. It's marriage and it's romantic marriage, which was unusual for the time. The time Jane Austen was writing, marriage was usually depicted more as a religious union or a financial kind of treaty almost. But in Jane Austen, the main protagonists are aiming for romantic marriage. They're aiming for the proposal, which is the pinnacle of the book. Once the proposal's done, the wedding secondary, we're aiming for this proposal. Now, Jane Austen, the books all follow the same kind of pattern. So we have our worthy heroine who has integrity um, and who's generally a good person. And then you have your dashing hero. You've got Darcy and Knightley. You've got the tall, dark, handsome, rich, 10,000 a year Darcy had, hero. So they meet at the beginning of the book, but there are obstacles that are preventing them being together. Now, the obstacles might be financial, they might just be the character's own flaws. In Pride and Prejudice, Darcy is prejudiced against Elizabeth's class status and against her looks as well. And Elizabeth is too proud to realise that Darcy and her may, might make a really good love match. Um, so the characters have to overcome these obstacles to unite at the end. Interestingly, the secondary characters in Jane Austen's aren't always afforded the same romantic love. A lot of the time they have to get married very strictly according to their class status or for financial reasons, which is just Jane Austen's commentary on the social constraints at the time. But the main characters, it's all romance. Other themes in Jane Austen, the main one that I really like is the difference between appearance and reality. And just about all the main characters get this wrong. So it's what they think they see and what is actually there. Um, Emma misjudges everything. Emma used to really greet me when I was younger, when I read Jane Austen, but now I have, I'm less judgmental towards her because she was just young and silly. But Emma misjudges just about every situation um, until Knightley reprimands her and then she has the kind of aha moment and realises how badly she has misjudged a lot of situations. But it's all done with humour. It's all done sensitively. It's all done with a certain elegance in Jane Austen's writing. Now, Jane Austen's style is what's called free and direct style. And what this means, it's nothing complicated. It just means that instead of your author being all knowing, telling you what is happening, you are going along with the character's point of view. So you're involved with the character, you're seeing the narrative and the plot develop from their point of view. So we're seeing like Emma misjudges situations, you're going along with Emma and seeing her perception of the situations. So they're character driven books, you're in there with the characters on their kind of journey. One of the other most beautiful things about Jane Austen is the dialogue. The dialogue is so important and it's why these books have translated into films and plays and loads of different adaptations because the dialogue is so spot on. Every character's dialogue, even secondary characters, is completely related to their disposition. It completely ties it in with their personality. So Marianne in Sense and Sensibility is super emotional. So she speaks in outbursts. She can't contain her language. It just pours out of her um, and she's loud because she's so emotional until she calms down later in the book. Elizabeth in Pride and Prejudice is intelligent and she's witty. So her dialogue is intelligent and witty and concise. So you just have all these extra levels of good things about Jane Austen. Now, if you already like Jane Austen and you like romantic heroes and you like that style of writing, then try one of these. Download it in the Libby app. There's loads of different options. If you like Jane Austen, try the Brontes. Please try Wuthering Heights. It's one of my favourite books of all time and it's got the ultimate romantic hero in Heathcliff in it. 
a lot darker than these though. These are funny and these are easy reading, believe it or not. So try these. The libraries are open. Go in and try something else. Bye for now.